everyone and welcome to my channel. Today's video is we're gonna talk about my CFO seminar. Review po na ito. This video is for all those um, na magtitake pa lang po ng CFO or mag attend ng CFO seminar pa. Seminar para sa K1 visa. Okay guys, please keep watching because um, this seminar is very helpful especially to the first time to the first time immigrant because guys this um, seminar is they gonna explain with you about the immigrant immigration process like what people need to do or what they expect when they move Okay guys, here's the first question I know you're gonna ask me about if can I attend the CFO seminar before my um, US Embassy interview? Well, yes, you can attend the CFO seminar before your US Embassy interview and but you have to go back there after your um, interview after your US interview and after you got your visa you have to go back to the semin CFO seminar to get your stickers and attach on your um, they're gonna attach on your um, passport with the visa and also they're gonna give you a certificate so guys that is very important so you have to um, attend the seminar the second question is it is really required to attend the CFO seminar yes guys it's very important if you want to be with your um, husband or boyfriend or fiance you should be um go get your cfo stickers and cfo certificate because that is very 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 important without that you cannot leave the philippines because just like what i say it is very important okay next questions is can't i just skip this um part of the process just like what i say guys it is very important and according to the republic act 10364 expanded anti-trafficking and person act of 2012 it says here this is a mandatory counseling service for Filipinos in intermarriage. So, whether you like it or not, you have to attend the CFO seminar. And for more information, guys, kapag time na ng um, flight ninyo at hindi nyo na finish yung mga requirements like um, the last requirements is a CFO seminar at wala kayong na present na CFO stickers um, sa immigration hindi matutuloy ang flight nyo magkakaroon kayo ng abiria so yun na nga kailangan talaga Okay guys, the next question is, can I attend the CFO seminar without my passport? Okay guys, um, yeah, pwede naman siya. Pwede kang pumunta ng umaten ng CFO without your passport as long as you have your photocopy of your passport. Kasi, at sasabihin mo na sa, sa kanila na waiting pa yung passport mo at nasa US Embassy pa at hindi pa nadideliver sa iyo. Pwede yon At saka kapag nasa iyo na yung passport mo, babalik ka sa babalik ka doon sa CFO para patatakan yung passport mo. yon Pwede siya. Pero kung ayaw mo talagang mahasil yung time mo, ayaw mo talagang bumalik doon sa CFO ng maraming beses, Siguro tapusin mo muna yung interview before
for your CFO seminar. Guys, advice ko sa inyo na um, pag kayo ay nagpa-process ng K-1 visa, um, siguro tapusin nyo muna yung interview nyo before kayo umatend ng CFO seminar para uh, madali lang siya. Kasi kapag dalo nyo yung passport nyo, makukuha nyo na agad yung stickers in that day, on that day. So, very, very, very easy kapag may dala na kayong passport and visa. Hindi nyo na kailangang bumalik pa. Okay, next question is what requirements, documents do I need to bring with me to the CFO seminar? Of course, guys, sa may mga um, una, sa may mga passport na at may visa na, you should bring your passport with um, K-1 visa. Next is passport by you photograph photocopy kailangan ng um, passport photocopy guys and then k1 usb sa photocopy din if if already issued okay next is two valid government's id with photocopy ss id bill health id and um, and BI clearance, postal ID, driver license, etc. Basta ID na valid. Kasi yung ginamit ko nung ako nag-CFO seminar is just my school ID and my library ID card, library card and my alumni, my alumni ID. Okay, next is put a copy of Valid government IDs, yun na nga, valid government IDs. Pero hindi ko na yun uh, dinala, wala na ako. ID ko lang sa school, ID lang sa school yung dala ko, at saka NBI. But of course guys, don't forget to bring your registration form. Of course, bring your Senomar, Senomar for K-1. And then other documents that may be required by the guidance guidance um, counselor. Okay guys, for K-1 visa, na if you are single, of course, bring your birth certificate copy. And if you are um, married before, bring your annulment, divorce decrees of previous married, fiancé, or spouses. And uh, of course, the death certificate of the ex post of previous married, fiancé, or spouses spouses whatever is it so if you are just married before guys and also your photo of you and your fiance or spouse um ito guys is um yung proof of relationship kailangan yung magdala ng um, mga pictures nyo na totoong magka-relation kayo and totoong nagmeet kayo in person kasi it's very important and of course if you are under age um Parental consent of applicant under 18, 18 years old of age. And the next is parental advice for applicant over 18 and under 25 years old years of age. And valid photocopy, photo ID of the parents who signed the parental consent advice. Um, if ever lang guys na yung yun nga 18 years old, kailangan pa din ng parents um, cons consent basta yun, approval ng parents so, yun guys okay guys, after that um, um, you already make um, appointment for your CFO seminar, it's based on my experience and yeah, you have you have to be there uh, one hour or one, one and thirty minutes uh, bago mag-start yung CFO seminar kasi marami kayong papers na pipilapan, marami kayong, yeah, sasign kayo ng 
uh, sobrang dami ng papers na yun. So, uh, kailangan nyo pumunta doon 1 hour or 1 and 30 minutes before yung CFO. And kasi guys, mahirap hanapin yung um, CFO si, uh, building. Kasi napaka-old na nung building at medyo tago siya. So, mahirap siyang hanapin. So, um, dapat talaga... Uh, sa malalayo guys, para sa mga malalayo na nagbibiyahe panggaling province for CFO seminar, I suggest na mag-hotel na lang kayo malapit sa CFO seminar kasi uh, mas magandang maaga kayo doon kasi nga, yun na nga maraming pipilapan. Hindi katulad ko, ilang minuto na lang, ilang minutes na lang. Um, CFO seminar, mag start na yung CFO seminar ko kasi nga, traffic, galing kami ng... Um, um, Quezon City to Osmeña. Osmeña. Basta malayo siya, guys. And then, ayun, ilang minuto na lang mag-start yung, yung CFO seminar ko. And, hindi ko pa napipil up yung mga binigay nilang papers. And, kailangan bumalik sa baba para magbayad pa. So, sobrang hassle. Kaya, ginawa ko kahabang nag-waiting um, kasi may interview pa. After mo uh, pil up yung mga after mong fill up yung mga binigay nilang papers, bibigyan ka nila ng payments. May payments, 400 pesos. Pumunta ka sa baba, sa ground floor, para magbayad. And then, babalik ka sa taas, bibigyan mo sa kanila yon. And then, waiting er sa waiting area ka. So, habang nasa waiting area ko, uh, hinihintay ko yung... Ay, nagsusulat ako, nagpipil up ako. And then, um... Afternoon, pag napilapan mo na siyang lahat, lahat ng yun, ibabalik mo siya doon sa counter and then waiting ka ulit for interview na. Interview. Kailangan mo lang ipakita sa interview guys is yung uh, proof of relationship, yung mga pictures nyo, birth certificate, sinumar, halos sinumar, and NBI, um, your husband birth certificate, and um, yun um, passport, copy ng husband mo and ng piyansay mo and yeah, yun, and then um, questions, question na tinanong sa akin is um, what is uh, yung um, mother name ng husband mo and hindi ko alam yung mother name ng husband ko so, <laughs> so, yun guys, sabi ko, pwedeng patingin ako dyan sa birth certificate niya. Dun dun, yung tinignan ko, sabi ko, ang kilala ko lang is yung stepmom. So, yun, uh, sabi niya, it's okay lang daw. So, yun, tapos ilang taon na yung, ano mo, um, husband mo, ano gagawin mo pagdating mo sa US. Mga ganun, mga simple question lang guys. So, wal walang ka dapat ikakabaw or ikatako. And, andun yung mga nanay, yung mga nag apply ng spouse, yung mga dito nagpakasal, tapos nag apply ng, ng yun, spouse, visa, uh, ayun, nagkawantuhan sila doon kasi sobrang dami nila, tapos may nakamit ako doon babae na sobrang ingay niya, grab. pero masaya kasi, um, uh, alam mo yun, makakamit mo yung mga hindi mo na na is maisip na ganun kadami pala yung nag apply ng K1 visa. If you're asking me if how much the CFO seminar fee is 400 pesos. So, you have to prepare your 400 pesos. And guys, don't forget to bring your water, foods on your purse. Kasi it's very important. And the pen, kailangan yung mag-provide ng uh, wag nyo kakalimutan ng bomb pen kasi walang magpapahiram sa inyo doon kasi everybody's writing and kailangan din nila yun so mag bring talaga kayo ng, ng ball pen at saka pagkain kasi sobrang nakakagutom may mabibilhan man ng pagkain pero mahal yun ang masasabi ko super okay guys if you're asking why they have still an um, interview in there and why do people get one on one counseling Kasi guys, um, doon sa form na pinil upan nyo, may mga hindi tayo na-answeran doon or may mga nakalimutan na 
um, sagutan. So, that's why mayroong interview. So, kaya yung mga tanong sa akin, kasi hindi ko naman alam yung isasagot ko doon. Kaya, may one-on-one -on -one counseling. Okay, guys, that's all my, um, that's all I can say in uh, some details details about you know tips about how to you know about my CFO seminar so I hope you enjoy watching and if you guys want to hear some more about my experience processing my K-1 visa you should subscribe to my channel so you don't miss anything so guys thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy and uh, I would like to say thank you for my 100 plus subscribers. Thank you so much, guys. Guys, and if you have some questions, please don't, um, you know, hesitate to, uh, to, you know, um, asking me because I'm always ready to answer you guys. And yeah, and. Um, right, if you guys asking if what, what, um, and when, when did I process my um, K1 visa? It's in last um, December. I know, last 2000, 2017. Last year lang, guys. So I'm thankful because natapos na ako dun. So next na gagawin ko is my um, change uh, status my yun yung change status ko no so yun guys um, please don't forget to comment and subscribe thank you and have a nice day